as noted, uh, Port Alberni is uh, not only makes no provision for pedestrians, but is actively hostile towards them. So, interesting experiences when the snow falls. At any rate, in terms of business continuity, as I've said before, um, you know, there, there are definite ties to um, security and, uh, you know, that, that includes uh, risk management. Um, incident response planning follows an almost identical pattern to business continuity planning. As a matter of fact, um, I use um, the same basic structure for uh, a two-hour seminar on uh, business continuity planning and uh, incident response planning with uh, very minor uh, changes to the activities overall. Uh, based on a one-page handout that gives people a sort of a cheat sheet flow chart of um, what to do uh, in terms of doing their own uh, business continuity planning, disaster recovery planning, incident response planning, uh, noting, of course, the planning. You know, you have to do this in advance. Um, now, that brings up an interesting point. You know, um, the... Uh, you have to do it in advance, and it's very often considered uh, useless or wasteful. Um, you, you, know, you don't need a backup until you need it. A backup is useless until you need it. Then if you don't have it, it's a disaster. And uh, so, you know, this, this is the same with uh, business continuity planning, um, making sure that you have done the planning in advance, have made the provisions in advance, and of course you have to commit resources to that. And um, the, I, I suppose I should uh, just uh, address one point. I'm, I'm using business continuity planning and disaster recovery planning almost interchangeably here. Now they aren't the same thing. Business continuity planning is what you plan to do to keep yourself in business, to be able to withstand uh, some kind of disaster and go on without an interruption in business. Disaster recovery is when you have been interrupted and how do you get back into business. But. Um, so much of what you do in, uh, in both sets, in, in business continuity planning and in disaster recovery planning, is the same thing. And you will have, um, uh, you know, you're, you're going to be following the same process. Uh, so it's, it's very, uh, very close in, in terms of actually doing the planning. Uh, as I say, with risk management, you know, it's sort of a case of uh, get uh, everyone into a room, think of everything that can go wrong, now what are you going to do about it? And, you know, that, that is the basic process. So, uh, but the, the thing is that people don't think you need to do it because uh, you are committing resources and this is inefficient. You could use those resources to grow the business. You could use those resources to expand the business into other areas, into other markets, whatever. You know, you can use those resources in other ways rather than committing them to business continuity planning. And the... the this addresses something that has been... Uh, on my mind for uh, more than 40 years now. Um, that long ago, I, I was wondering uh, from uh, study, uh, actually, uh, religious study, um, in terms of why God wasn't interested in efficiency. And certainly, uh, efficiency is uh, the idol of capitalism. 
Uh, you know, we are trying to make business more efficient. We are trying to wring every cent of profit out of the situation. And as I said, you know, I this was in the back of my mind, wondering what was the problem here? Uh, why is efficiency uh, so bad? I, I, I mean, you know, it's not just God says, uh, but when you look at so much in, in the Bible, um, it has really good business advice that uh, we are only just catching up with now in, in terms of business studies. And so, you know, uh, here's another one. What is the problem with efficiency? Well, along came the pandemic, and all of a sudden, everything was blindingly obvious and clear. Um, when you pursue efficiency to that level, when efficiency is the be-all and end-all, efficient systems are brittle. Efficient systems have no redundancy and therefore when something goes wrong everything breaks down so you know that's that's the thing you have to have a balance between efficiency and the necessary redundancy to be able to withstand a shock um so you you have to bear that in mind you have to uh, consider what the possible disasters are and what are we going to do about them. Uh, now, when, when I teach business continuity planning in the States, um, I can uh, start off with um, a reason for doing business continuity planning is the um, Americans with Disabilities Act. And, and you think, what the heck has that got to do with it? Well, what the the Americans with Disabilities Act is, it, it says, part of it says, um, any business, doesn't matter what business you're in, any business has to have plans for what you are going to do with disabled people on your premises in a disaster. How are you going to address that? And that is in law. And uh, again, as... Uh, I say, you know, we're, we're no longer saying to management, you know, my job is to keep you, your, your name out of the paper. Um, you know, nowadays, we're, t we're saying, you know, my job is to keep you out of jail. And so, you know, here, here is one example. You know, it is a legal requirement. You have to have this plan. And so we had better put this plan in place, or you, senior management are in legal trouble and so you know then once you've convinced them of that and and they've agreed to that you, you know then you can jump on it and say you know and for only a few dollars more we can do this full business continuity planning business and and make sure that the business does continue to operate when we face some kind of a disaster so